second video that is a continuation of the first video let us understand that how 82 degrees 30 minute east has been selected as a standard meridian and why it has been selected as the standard meridian of our country let us find the answer that why 82 degree 30 minute east has been selected as a standard meridian our earth completes one rotation on its own axis that is it covers 360 degree in 24 hours on the basis of this the world is divided into 24 time zones zero degree is the prime meridian or we call it as GMT that is Greenwich Mean Time which is passing through Greenwich Royal Observatory London this zero degree is a prime meridian and each meridian is at 15 degrees like this there are 180 degrees in the east and 180 degree in the west now so we can say that our earth covers 360 degree in 24 hours or in this way that it takes 24 hours to cover 360 degree then in one hour how much it will cover it will cover 15 degree so here we can see that each meridian this is a central meridian is actually have a the each meridian is passing through 15 degree that is one hour each Now, we need to understand in terms of minute. One hour means 60 minutes. So it covers 60 minutes in 15 degree. Then we need to understand in terms of minutes. So, for example, then 15 degree, it completes in actually 60 minutes. Then 1 degree will be 60 divided by 15 that is 4 minutes that means we can say that with that that means uh, each degree or each local time will have a difference of 4 minutes then it is going to be very much confusing and problematic for a country because of its vast expense so it will pass through different longitudes so it is very important to actually settle down a standard meridian or to select a standard meridian now as we can see that zero degree that is a prime meridian here 7.5 anything between 7.5 west and 7.5 in the east 
will have same time zone. So while selecting a standard meridian, it is very important to understand that a standard meridian should be well divisible by 7.5. Why? Because as because uh, or according to the international convention, the longitude between two time zones or with two time meridians, according to the international convention, the longitude between two time meridians should be a multiple of 7.5. That means something which can be easily divisible by 7.5. Why then the time difference will be of half hours or one hour. Just think in this way that as per it like as we are moving to the east always one hour is added and as we move to the west one hour is subtracted. So as we will move to the east half hour will be actually added to the country. The difference between the country standard time will be half hour as per the boundaries as for the countries which are sharing the boundaries with any other country. For example, in terms of Pakistan and India, here is our something in between. Something in between. This is our standard meridian. So if we will count in this way. Then here that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So 5 hours and in the middle 30 minutes. So we can say India's, India is GMT plus 5 hours 30 minutes. So India is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead. And Pakistan has got a standard meridian of 74. Like here. It is. Five hours ahead of. Green width. So you can easily understand that only half hour is actually the difference between two time meridians is half hour or it can be a full hour. That is why it should be well divisible by 7 degree 5 minute. Now we need to understand what is standard time then. Standard time means that is the standard meridian which is actually taken to identify a local time for a particular region or a particular country. So our standard time is 82 degree 30 minute east and why, why we selected it? Let us now get to know about it. We first need to add our longitudinal extent and we need to find the mean. This 68 degree 7 minute 53 seconds plus 97 degree 4 minute 43 seconds divided by 2 it will come around 82 degree 46 minute 22 seconds. So how do we get that 82 degree 30 minute? We need to first get a mean of our longitudinal extent. That is 68 degree 7 minute 53 second plus 97 degree 24 minutes 47 second divided by which is equals to 82 degree 46 minute 20 second 
and 82 degree 30 minute or we can say 82.5 is the nearest multiple of 7.5 so it is selected as a standard meridian of india and also because it is equally dividing our country into two equal halves as i said in the previous um, uh, as i was explaining you that why we have not selected the standard meridian of 70 degree or 90 degree whereas they have selected like pakistan have selected the standard meridian of 74 degree and uh, bangladesh selected uh, standard meridian of 90 degree because 74 degree is equally dividing pakistan into two equal halves 90 degrees exactly dividing Bangladesh into two equal halves and here 82 degree 30 minute is equally dividing our India into two equal halves so I hope so all of you understood so from where we got this 82 degree 30 minute east and why do we we selected 82 degree 30 minute east as a standard meridian of our country India now let us add so what we understood from here that longitude helps us to actually understand the time of any place so longitude influences the time of any place and what is the need to select a uh, longitude because there was a several problem of uh, there was a time confusion as i said earlier that there is a time difference of two hours between Gujarat and Arunachal Pradesh. How we are getting the time difference of two hours? That is, according to the longitudinal extent, as we subtracted 97 degree point 25 here at 68.07, we got 29 per morning. That is around about 30 degree. There is a difference of 30 degree. That means 30 degree into 4 equals to 120 that means 2 hours 120 minutes that is 2 hours so we we can understand there is a time lag of 2 hours between Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat that is why uh, it may be the sun rises earlier in Arunachal Pradesh hours and uh, Gujarat is lagging behind 2 hours but still the watch shows the same time because of the standard meridian and why we select the standard meridian to avoid this confu confusion uh, there would be confusion uh, in regarding the running of administration in regarding how to run the railways or the flights so the standard meridian has been selected now let us understand what is the role of latitude or how latitude influences the duration of day and night how latitude influences the duration of day and night Now, the areas which are closer to equator will get direct rays of the sun. That means here near the equator, the areas which are situated near the equator will hardly feel any difference between day and night. Whereas as the latitude increases, that means the distance from the sun increases, the sun rays goes on becoming slanting because it has to travel a longer distance so near the equator the amount of sun rays that they are getting are direct we can say these are the areas which are getting direct sun rays this will be the area which will get medium or moderate sun rays and this will be the areas the poles which will 
not to get sunlight at all. That means we can say that it will get very little amount of sunlight. So this will be the area which where the difference between day and night will be hardly felt. Whereas this will be the areas where we can actually experience that there will be day and six months night. Six months day and six months night. And this will be the areas, this zone will be the areas which will receive moderate let me just show this way. So this will be the, it will say that the poles. <clears throat> so this will be the zone which will Thank you.